In this video, we're going to take a look at why some of your newer Dynamo graphs might not open in older versions of Dynamo. For reference, we're going to be in Revit 23 with Dynamo 2.13 and Revit 21 with Dynamo 2.6. So that's kind of the version that we're supporting here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to place a categories node in the workspace and mark it as input. I'm then going to go ahead and save this graph on my network as a file that's called 2.13. This is an input node and this causes some certain interactions whenever you open it in older versions of Dynamo. So in this case, I'll go ahead and save it and then we will open this up in Revit 21 now. So here we are in Revit 2021. We're going to go ahead and open up this file and see what happens. So we'll navigate to the file, we'll click open, and we'll see that in Dynamo, nothing happens. Furthermore, it's a bit confusing because the errors and the log doesn't give us anything to tell us what's going on. A lot of times we're inclined to go to the notifications to see what's happening, and it'll normally tell you that you have conflicting add-ins and things like that. In this case, a few packages are referencing a different version of the Revit API than what we're in, these are normally ignorable, but it's easy to start to assume that this is the problem and start uninstalling a whole lot of add-ins, which just sucks. This whole interaction is a huge fail uh, in regards to Dynamo. What happened is the Dynamo team actually fixed the dropdowns not remembering what was selected in Dynamo 2.12. Doing that caused them to break in older versions. So as you mark them as inputs, it now doesn't work in older versions. So that's a little bit frustrating um, to fix. The way that we have to fix that actually is we actually have to install a package. So what we do is we navigate to the package manager and we need to search for a package called Dynamo Future File. What this package is, is it is a package that's an extension that helps fix those dropdowns as you open them in older versions. So now with that installed, we'll open the graph, navigate to it, and we'll see that the graph opened. So it's good to go. This is a patch that they released through the package manager after they realized that it broke. I'm presenting this at Autodesk University 2022 as part of my class on shipping your scripts with Dynamo. Uh, but it is something that I wanted to get out there to people so that way they knew what it was because it hung us up recently at Parallax with some of the graphs that we use between versions of Revit. So, this is one of those packages in Revit 21, you're going to have to have it installed just to be able to open those newer graphs. It is doable and thankfully there is a fix though. Uh, this is a kind of a little bit of a different video because I am showing this gearing up for Autodesk University. That class is full, but I also just wanna go ahead and plug another class. This laptop that I'm on is a Lenovo P16 with a 12th gen Intel processor and I'm testing it right now. So in collaboration with Intel, I am testing this laptop, running a lot of workflows through it. And I have another class at AU, it's a lunch and learn on Wednesday. So the Wednesday of the event, I'll include a link below that has room for you to be able to get in there. And we're not just going to talk about machines and have sales pitches. I'm going to show a Revit plugin being debugged live and all that kind of stuff that requires power, mobile power. So it should be a fun session. It's a little different because it's not a lab or a just pure tutorial, but we should be able to have a lot of fun in it. And there is availability in that class, unlike my other class, which is full. Uh, so be sure to check that out below. I'll include the, uh, the specs and the links and all that stuff to this laptop as well. There's plenty of information out there about it, so I won't go into all the details. What I can say is it's running all this stuff really quickly, which is awesome. And it's pretty portable, which I really like as well. So yeah, I hope the drop down thing helps everyone out. I look forward to seeing you at Autodesk University and thanks for checking out this video.